talking about sex in the Middle East is a taboo, but the website Karaz is about to change this. This is a Shahira compliant website which provides um, sexual tips and advice and still respecting the Islamic values. And today with us is the founder, Ashraf. Welcome, Ashraf. Uh, what is the attitude amongst the young generation towards uh, sexuality in the Middle East? Well, it's a subject that is considered exciting yet secretive at the same time. Uh, youth in the region do not really openly discuss the topic unless they're amongst their closest friends. And even then, there's uh, hesitation. Um, there's a skewed view on sex since information uh, that they have access to is limited and the sources that are deemed appropriate. So they shy away from the topic. So what do you think is the result of this secretive attitude towards sexuality? Um, I believe that it breeds confusion and shame. Uh, unfortunately, the hesitation in discussing sexuality becomes embedded in, uh, in their lives and even when people are married. They're still uncomfortable discussing it and uh, those Im intimate issues between husband and wife are really important to discuss. Um, an example is uh, a friend of mine who owns a pharmacy. Um, one of his closest friends would come and discuss his, uh, his relationship with his friend in, in confidence. And he was explaining to him that you know, his marriage was deteriorating. And um, he was ex explaining that every time him and his wife would get intimate or they would get close to each other, you know, uh, she would push him away. Um, it turns out that his wife had vaginal dryness and was unable to self-lubricate, and this was becoming really painful for her. So the pharmacist just handed him a bottle of lubricant, and something so simple and something over-the-counter uh, ended up saving this couple's marriage. Next to marriage, what is the attitude of the, of the young ones uh, towards uh, sexual intercourse outside a relationship? I can't really speak for all youth, but it varies from country to country, although there is a very small minority who consider themselves open-minded and don't see anything wrong with it, the overwhelming majority among Muslims and Christians feel that it is immoral. And do you think um, education is the first step into making sexuality more discussable? I believe that human sexuality is a natural part of life and love. Um, and should be treated as such. Education is definitely the key to fighting the ignorance and the fear. Um, one thing that there's a miscommunication about is that people relate sex to porn, and that is not really the case. Uh, wanting to learn about sex doesn't mean you are a deviant or a pervert. It, it, sexual education was introduced to schools and universities in a manner befitting the age and the culture, our youth would go into marriages more knowledgeable about their bodies as well as their spouses. And I think that newlyweds would strengthen their relationships and help save marriages. Thank you, Ashraf. Um, I think um, Kar Karaz is really making a first step into breaking these taboos. And uh, for you guys at home, if you want to know more about this project, make sure to check out our website.